guys welcome back to the channel if you are new welcome to the channel i'm michelle and i hope you're going to enjoy all the content that is on to this channel so today i'm doing something a little bit different <laughs> um possibly on the fun side but you know all the fun that we have on this channel always leaves us a little bit of lesson so a few days ago i don't know when this is going to come up but a few days ago i posted that i wanted to do an instagram q a um which is just answering some of your random questions about life personal development entrepreneurship my journey whatever it is and this was basically the post. I want to show you guys before it like leaves because this is the day that I'm actually doing it. So let me let my camera focus. So this was the post. And you guys responded with a number of questions. Um, as always, you guys know that it's sometimes a little bit more difficult to like answer every question because there is quite a number. So I'm just going to select a few that I also think are going to be super helpful to you guys. Um, and then answer those and then we can actually chat. So I'm trying to show you the questions um, that actually came through and so, somewhere, something like that, yeah. So those are the questions that came through. So I'm just gonna read them out loud and then answer them in the process. <laughs> so I hope that you guys are gonna learn something. Actually, before we begin, please make sure that you follow me on Instagram, all right? Make sure that you also click the notification bell on this channel so that every time I post a video, you are notified. And let me just say thank you if you're a subscriber. If you're not subscribed and you are watching this video, I don't know what you're doing, but quickly hurry up, join the community. Your support means a lot to me. And I think in like all these moments of um, pandemic and all those things really means a lot of financial, a lot to creators. So thank you so much for your support. So let me get into the questions. Um, my, the first question is what is your morning routine or formula for a productive day? <laughs> this actually came, I think, I'm not sure, but I think this actually came from the, I did an Instagram live the same day, no, a day before I posted this questionnaire and I was, I was asking a lot of people like what makes them productive and what makes them like what keeps them during the day. Actually, I would also like to know before I answer this question on these comment section below, what keeps you going? What's the, like, how do you start your day? What is that one thing that helps you kickstart your day to like pumped up? That is the it for you. I'd like to know that. So let me know in the comment section below, but to answer the question, what is my morning routine or formula for productive day? So my biggest thing for me is that mornings either make or break my day. I always feel like it's a bit more difficult to like kind of try to kickstart the afternoon unless I really, really have to. But like if I don't make it in the morning, sometimes I'm just like, <laughs> I'm absent. Just mark me absent, man. You know, I'm there. But my biggest formula, well, it's not necessarily a morning routine, maybe like a formula for a productive day that I do every morning is prayer. For me, it is huge. But before that, actually, it's waking up early. That is powerful. Waking up early, also being self employed. Sometimes you can actually slumber in bed and relax, but. Um, the formula that has worked for me majority of the time is waking up early, waking up earlier than usual. So like six, seven, eight, depending, but just waking up a little bit more earlier than everyone or than like the whole world when everything is just still silent. And then I normally use the like, first thing I do when I'm like up and I open my eyes is not grab my phone, but I really spend some time in prayer. Um, I will read my Bible. I read a couple of scriptures or continue reading a story, but it just, yeah, I, there's something I post on my Twitter a lot and that's start your day with God, that means a lot to me. That's something I am consistently practicing. Just start your day in God. And if you've been on this channel for so long, you know what I mean when I say consistency. Consistency is frequency. That's it. So that's what I do. Um, it's just getting up earlier and spending some time in prayer, spending some time in just deep prayer. And sometimes it's not always about like having a oh, three hour session with God. Sometimes I do get the privilege to have that. Sometimes it's just that 20 minutes in the morning of just me, just thanking God for the day, telling God what my plans are. I just do sometimes even just worshiping, but that for me is amazing. And then the third thing I do when I, after I've done my prayer and, um, 
uh, my prayer time in the morning is I quickly take a bath. So I don't know about you guys, but it is very difficult for me to like get productive if I haven't like cleaned myself up. Um, so I do that, but before I actually bath, I first clean around my space, uh, mainly because I also struggle working in a, in a space or in an environment that's not entirely clean. So this is basically the flow of this morning routine. Hopefully, maybe someday I'll do a video for you guys. I'm still trying to learn how to do uh, vlogs, but it's basically getting up earlier. It is spending some time in prayer. It is cleaning up my space and then taking a bath or a shower or just cleaning up whatever it is whatever needs to happen and then fifth having breakfast and then like i've got my full fist get my day done going pump it up and just get my life together so that's one you see why i can't answer so many questions because i talk so much and it's like we're like what six five minutes into the video my god this is i'm only gonna answer a few questions <laughs> Um, okay, the other question is, okay, so a lot of people are actually using this opportunity to tell me how awesome they think I am, which I really appreciate, so thank you so much. Um, somebody also asked, what is your morning and evening routine to stay productive? So I've told you guys what my morning routine is. My evening routine, hmm, has sort of kind of changed as time goes, goes, um, Lately, I try to really be very easy on myself. I try to just be a little bit more kinder to myself because I don't know if you guys noticed it from my energy, but I can be very like strict and upbeat and da, 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 and I am like that to my own self. So I've really just started unwinding a little bit more in the evening. This means that normally the later it becomes, I try to stop work and I probably like watch a movie, watch a series on Netflix, an episode of a series on Netflix, or just watch something silly, watch a program that I probably don't even watch that often, just to unwind and then probably go to sleep. But I really try to take it a little bit more easy. That's literally my evening routine. It's that, and then I go to bed, or it's that, and when I'm done, I actually quite like spending some time in prayer and reading my word as well in the evening. So I will also do a little bit of that quite often. And then I sleep. That's literally my evening routine. And then someone says, um, how long have you been reading books? Does it help with being more well-spoken? So I've been reading books ever since I can remember. Uh, my father, my late father was actually a good reader and he loved books. The first book he ever gave me to read was um, Things Fall Apart by, uh, is it Chinua Achebe? I, I don't remember. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but yeah, that's the first book that he's ever given me to read and the story inspired him and it was just like, you need to read this book. I think I read that book so many times. Um, and then coming into my work life, I was really in environments where a lot of people were readers and that thing just fed onto me. I enjoyed personally just buying books and reading. So I've been reading for years, for as long as I can remember. Um, it does definitely help me with being a little bit more spoken, um, mainly because like, I think especially in the space that I'm in, I don't like not knowing what I'm talking about and reading just kind of helps me and it gives me a little bit more perspective as well like with life in general like it really gives me a lot of perspective on like different side, sides of life and just different things one of the books I actually have it here with me that I've been sharing with you guys that I've been reading that has been so life-changing well a friend actually shared this book with me is this one I don't know if you guys can see it that's the book it's been so low, so, 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 so life-changing. So that's the book I've been reading now. Um, but yeah, it definitely does. It gives you a lot of perspective. It helps you because the more you read like words and things that you see, the more you, it's, it's like education. Like the more you are studying something for like a year, the more you repeat something, the better you, the better you get at it. So it's really one of those things. Um, and then let's see. Okay, I'm gonna take one last question. I'll have to only take three questions. It's not like there were thousands, but there were quite a few. So I'll take one last question. Um, and that is, what has been your biggest fear in life, and how do you overcome or continue to move past that fear? This question on its own is one of my biggest fears. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, my biggest fear in life is regret. My biggest fear in life is regret. Um, and I've shared this multiple times when I've done speaking engagements is that I fear regretting not having done something or regretting not having made a move or just regret as a whole, like just wallowing in 
not having done enough or not having tried enough, not having um, done a lot of things, uh, not having done what I thought was okay at that time. I think I think I fear regret more than I fear making mistakes because I always feel like when you make a mistake, you you at that point in time you didn't know better, and at that if it was a mistake, if you later find out that it's a mistake, at that point in time it's something that you wanted to do. So I never regret taking action, and my biggest thing is just regretting never having taken action. You guys know I'm like the queen of action. I love taking action. So my biggest fear is regret. And how did I overcome or continue to move past it? I think it's it's, it's a daily decision. Um, I constantly have to have conversations with myself all the time, trying to convince myself to take action, trying to convince myself to not doubt because I'm human, you know. Um, I'm human and sometimes I will possibly not even make decisions or possibly do things because I'm like, oh, I'm so fearful. And um, yeah, but what keeps me going is that just remembering that as a fear, remembering that I don't ever want to be in a situation where um, my biggest fear actually is um, holding me down, which is that regret. I don't ever want to be in a situation where I regret. Um, but yeah, that's that. That's my number one biggest fear. And I think my second biggest fear, actually, I've got... I never a lot, but I've got a number. My second biggest fear is poverty. Um, is poverty. Um, I'm not too sure how many of you guys on this channel are privileged to my story. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I never came from like riches of riches. Um, and I have had several moments in my childhood life where um, there was lack, you know. And I think I've worked so hard that I continue to on a daily basis to never be in that situation again or prepare for something like that when it happens and just trust God in the process, but like to work hard. So that's also one of my biggest, just lack, you know, uh, poverty and not being able to make ends meet, like not even knowing when your next meal is coming. That's one of my biggest thing. And how do I move past that? I work as hard as I can. So that's really how I combat that. I just continue to work really hard and just trust God in the process, truly. But yeah, that's just, I talk so much, but I hope that answering these questions kind of gave you guys a little bit more insight. Um, I told you guys I'm going to be doing a lot of vlogs also. So I think you guys will really enjoy that. Just me taking you guys through my days, through my mornings and just through like my life. Um, Cause I want you guys to get to know me better because I'm also getting to know you guys as well. So thank you so much for watching this chilled, calm, rather different video on this channel. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you would like to see more of these videos on possibly getting to know me or just walking my journey with me, let me know on the comment section below have yourself a beautiful one and i will see you guys next time Mwah. bye